Hey guys, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com, coming at you from Anaheim, California at Winter Nam. We got Michael from PV here. Michael, you guys have a <laughs> really powerful little head here, the 6505 Piranha. Yes, this is our brand new little micro head. You know, I mean, the company's been around 50 years, and for half that time, we've had this series of amps: the 5150, then the 6505, mm -hmm. and you know, usually it's 120 watt head. Now we got uh, this little 20 watt. Micro head, which has got a 12AX7 preamp in it. It's got a solid state power amp in it, and uh, it's 20 watts into 4 ohms. And we're actually hearing about 10 watts into, into 16 ohms. And it's got a, a crunch lead switch, so you can get a, a lot of gain out of it. An auxiliary input that goes straight to the power amp and a headphone output. And unlike most of these types of products, we've got an effects loop, so you can hear the delay in the effects loop. And a uh, great effects loop. And we're running into the 6505 powered subwoofer, which was spe specifically designed for guitar. It accepts a uh, speaker level input. So if you've got two speaker outputs on your head or whatever you're using, you can plug directly into the sub. It'll attenuate that speaker level and give you uh, 300 watts of 18. That's an 18 in there. And uh, just, I mean, it just makes it sound huge. <laughs> And, and frankly, the, the sub is designed for, you know, it makes a small head like this sound like a, like a stack. But if you're playing an extended range guitar, like a 7 or an 8 string, and using a 412, you know, a lot of times the, the, on an 8 string, the, the low string will kind of get lost. You won't hear the articulation, etc. So it's a range extender, you know, and it's not a PA speaker. It's meant for guitar, so it really works, and uh, it's, it's just awesome. It's, it's, a fun, it's fun, too. It's a lot of fun. I bet. I mean, it's definitely filling the room here, but I mean, our mobile camera rig has two mic inputs. We've got one here we're talking into, and we've got an, an SM57 on both, so I don't know how well that's translated to video, but it is massive sounding. I was curious, though, when we came in and heard you, were you, was that just the amp, or did you have distortion from the Buddha pedal? No, or? This is just a delay, so that's just the amp, and if I turn the the gain up and the volume, you can hear how, how much gain this thing really has. I mean, it's just monstrous for a little head like this. So it's, um, it's a fun product. We call it Piranha because it's small, yeah. but it's got a bite, right. you know? Do you want to show us any other sounds on it? Like adjust it a little bit or? Well, you know, it's, it, uh, it will give you a great hard rock sound too. Um, of course, 6505 is really known for that really over-the-top gain. Really, you know, where it really lives. I mean, you would never think that was coming from a little... 20 watt head like this. Definitely not. How much is this thing going for? Street price on the uh, 6505 Prana is $179.99 in the US. Oh, wow. Okay. How about the uh, subwoofer cab? Sub's actually $699, but it's a no compromise. You know, it's got the nice 6505 look, 300 watts, and uh, man, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You should go try it. All right, Michael, you guys also have a new bass. Well, uh, you brought back a bass. Yeah, return, say. return of a classic, man. The Cirrus, the Cirrus bass uh, is iconic for PV, very popular. Uh, neck through. Uh, this is actually a walnut. It's available in Tiger Eye and uh, Red Oak, which actually is an amazingly sounding wood, amazing sounding, and also um, available in Bubinga. And the, the unique thing about the Cirrus, besides the, the playability, which is, has always been legendary, is it's an 18 volt system. So, you know, most active bases will have an active preamp, but they'll have a, pa a passive pickups. So we have actually active pickups and an active preamp. So it's extremely quiet. It gives you more headroom than any other active bass on the market. It really does. It's just a terrific bass, uh, you know, legendary in the studio. Uh, but we've been working on this for quite some time, getting this back in production. And um, we're, we should have this, you know, second quarter of this year. We'll have all, all the flavors, four and five string and the four different wood selections. And all the woods sound a little different. You know, the red oak's a brighter sound. The walnut's probably favored more by uh, jazz players. Um, but uh, we're real excited about it, and uh, PV dealers across the country are going to be 
we're gonna be selling space. Cool. Now, is it exactly the same as when it came out? When was it? In the early '90s or late '80s? Yeah, it's, it's a great question. Actually, what I did with this is I went over to the old factory, and I found the original prints in a dusty old cabinet, and I pulled out the original original blueprints. And so we created 3D models for modern uh, manufacturing using the exact original blueprints. So this is exactly the way it was from the very beginning. Same with the electronics Absolutely. and hardware? Yeah, the vertical flux load pickups, VFL pickups, um, are a PV thing and uh, PV technology, and uh, very, very quiet. Very quiet, very responsive. And those that were on the original model Absolutely. too, you're saying? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. How much is this going to go for? The this will range from uh, 999 up to about 1599 for the Tiger Eye uh, 5 string. Cool. Why don't you tell everyone where they can go online to check out this, the 6505 Piranha, the sub, and everything else? www.pv.com. And uh, go to the dealer locator, type in your zip code, and it will give you your closest dealer. Cool. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.